It's crazy. It's too expensive. Pretty good, actually. Hi guys, my name is Choru. I am a beauty content creator here on YouTube and Instagram. This video is a collaboration with Glowish. I will be testing out the Clinique Freshly Pressed Daily Booster with Pure Vitamin C Serum. I will be testing out this product for 14 days. Glowish. So I have oily combination and acne prone skin. I have struggled with hormonal acne for a very long time. Right now I have been using prescription tretinoin uh, regularly to control my hormonal acne. If you can see my acne has been pretty good under control at this point. I have a lot of pigmentation left from my acne. So my main skincare concern right now is to get rid of all this pigmentation and a little bit of age spot here on my cheeks. So for the purpose of testing this product, I will stop using my prescription tretinoin for 14 days, test out this product without having any interruptions of other products. This product is the Clinique Freshly Pressed Daily Booster with pure vitamin C 10%. It comes in this little bottle, little package. On the description of this product, it says it's a unique de-aging booster, harness the full power of pure fresh vitamin C at our highest concentration to brighten, even, and retexture skin. Sounds like it's something that really will target my pigmentation and age spot. So I have really good expectations of this product. This little tube here is 8.5 ml, 29 fluid ounce, and this is 100 bucks. It's crazy. It's too expensive. This product is going to brighten skin with first application, reduction of age spots, and reduction in the look of lines and wrinkles over time. Suitable for all skin type, normal dry combination and oily. Skincare concern is good for dullness and uneven texture dark spots and fine lines and wrinkles. It has water, ascorbic acid is the second ingredient and it's 10% based on the name of the bottle. It also has dimethicone, cucumber fruit extract, barley extract. It also has a few different types of peptides. It doesn't have any fragrance. So overall, it seems to be a good product. It also suggests that once opened, this should be used within seven days, which is crazy on this pricing point. So it comes in this little tube. I'm supposed to remove this seal here, press two times. Portion of it is a powder, I guess, and then it will mix into some sort of serum. So let's try it. On this tube here, there's also a little line thing here that you can make note of what date you start using this thing so that you remember to finish it within seven days. It makes me, it kind of reminds me of a, an EpiPen a little EpiPen thing. So I'm gonna press this twice. Oh, it feels like there's some powder or something that I'm crushing it in the inside. So when I press it, it feels like something got crushed, like a peel or some kind of powder. Remove the cap. Oh, okay. I might have pressed it too hard. So let me see. Oh, okay. So when I press the top, I can also squeeze the serum on my hand. So it looks like this. It's a pretty lightweight serum. There is no smell at all. Kind of rubbing a little bit on my hand. It's very lightweight. I'm using four drops. I'm just pressing it on my skin here. I don't smell anything. There's no smell. I don't feel any tingling on my skin. Pretty nice. The texture is actually pretty nice. So it absorbs really fast as well. It's not sticky, it's not slimy.
pretty good actually. First time using it, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll come back from time to time to give you guys update. Talk to you soon. Hi guys. It's been three days since I started testing the serum. I have no complaint about the texture and being comfortable using it layered with my other products. Pretty comfortable using this serum in the morning and in the evening. So far I haven't seen a visible improvements on my pigmentation here. This side is usually more mild and I have more pigmentation on this side. I haven't seen visible improvements on them. So far it's just like a regular hydrating serum to me. It hasn't wowed me yet. I'll keep you guys posted. Hi, it's me. It's been seven days since I started trying the serum. I actually almost finished this tube. Seems like it's exactly fit for seven days use. I do seem to see my overall skin tone pretty bright. My skin tone seem to be pretty even after using this. I don't see the significant improvement on my acne spots. They might have been lightened up a little bit. Haven't been completely gone. It really helped brightening the overall complexion. I haven't seen a significant improvement. Only using this serum in my skincare routine. I do feel my skin kind of tight after just using this. I have to now put on extra layer of hydrating serum after using this, keeping my skin more hydrated. So I'm going to keep on using it for another seven days and come back with my final thoughts. Hi guys. So today's the third day of my second week trying out the serum. So far, nothing unusual happened. I haven't found any unusual reactions to the serum. My skin tone's been pretty even overall. I do think it has an effect in brightening my skin tone overall. Might have lightened up a little bit. I still have area that is particularly stubborn acne scars that are still there. I will spend the rest of the week finishing the serum and let you guys know my final thought. Hi guys, it's me. Today's the last day that I'm testing this vitamin C serum from Clinique. I completed the testing of this serum and tomorrow I'm gonna come back and give you my final thoughts. Talk to you soon. Hi guys, let's talk about my final thoughts on this product. This packaging is quite different from a lot of vitamin C serums out in the market. They basically put fresh vitamin C on top of here. When you open the tube, you actually press the vitamin C and mix with the serum in the bottom to make a fresh vitamin C serum. This tube, if I use it in the morning and in the evening, only lasts for about seven days. They suggest to finish the serum within seven days after open. I feel that the way that they make this design of the packaging and the way that it only lasts for seven days different in the market. That's why they price it so high. This is like a hundred bucks, but you can only use it for seven days. But in terms of ingredients, I honestly don't think their ingredient is that impressive. Overall, I just feel that this product is extremely overpriced. In terms of effectiveness, this serum brightened up my overall skin tone, reducing the hyper pigmentation from my acne. In terms of reducing the hyperpigmentation from my acne, I don't think it's that effective. It has lightened up a little bit on this side. I still have some visible pigments from before I used the serum, so it's not really that effective. This serum is quite basic in terms of being a hydrating serum. I still need to put extra hydrating serum on top of it in order to keep my skin hydrated. Overall, I'm not that impressed with this serum. I think I'm gonna rate it 3 out of 5. It may appeal to a lot of their loyal customers over the years. If I had to go buy it, I probably won't choose this serum. So yeah, so that's my final thoughts on this serum. I hope it's helpful to you. Don't forget to go check out my channel if you have a chance. I'll talk to you guys soon.